Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be decorating for summer. As you can see, I have all my summer decor laid out. I won't be using the yellows, the lemons. I won't be using that in this video today, but I will be using those in probably the next video. Right here in this family room, I'm going to go with a coastal theme. So I will break out all the seashells and sand and mermaids and all that pretty stuff. The first thing that I'm going to do is just clear off my mantle and I'm going to clean that and I will be using the method wood for good. This isn't like a wood finish so it doesn't need to be polished but I love the scent that this method cleaner has. It's an almond scent and I'm just going to use it to clean today. So I will use this for the mantle and then I will use this for the entertainment center later on in the video. So I found these apothecary jars tucked away in one of my decor boxes in the garage and I thought they would look so pretty on my mantle filled with sand and shells. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm just dusting them off really quickly and then I'm going to add a little bit of sand in them and then top them off with some seashells. And you can buy this sand at Walmart. I believe you could buy the seashells there as well but I got this really big bag of seashells at Big Lots last year. But I want you close and I still have hope. If you are new to my channel, my name is Monica and I am so happy that you stopped by today and I would absolutely love it if you considered subscribing to my channel. Just go ahead and click that red subscribe button before you exit out and I would greatly appreciate it. I have so many videos coming up for decorating and cleaning and I would love for you to be a part of all that. So when I decorate, I take one main item that I'm decorating with and I like to work around that. So I really wanted to use these shells on this mantle here. So I'm working around the colors that are in the shells and the sand. So I thought this mermaid would look perfect because she has that sand color and plus she's a mermaid. And then I pulled the coral colors from the shells and used that glass jar. And I'm also going to use a few florals that match with the shells as well. In these walls, or at least I try to be. Cause I hope that I'm not showing how I feel for her. But she won't feel the same for me. Got this picture in my mind It's just the two of us Just the two of us But I know I'll have to try Try to let her go Because she won't be mine I listen when she talks I watch her when she walks She's giving me these feelings that I've never felt before But she will never know that I love her so well She's with somebody else and I will have to let her go She will never know, na na Never know, na na She will never know Never know, na na She'll never know 
like she stole my heart Without knowing she did But I guess that it will pass Yeah, I can't be the so once I had everything laid out on this mantle here, I took a step back and really looked at it. And when I did that, I felt like it needed just a little bit more color. I had found these prints in my closet somewhere. I don't think I have ever used these, not that I can remember, but I thought they would look perfect on here because of that blue that represents the color of the ocean. And then it also had that coral color with the flowers and I love that they also had the birds on here. So once I put them up here, I felt like everything looked perfect and I didn't need to add any more to it after that. Now that my mantle is all decorated the way that I am happy with, I'm just going to move on to this area right here with the ottoman and the sofa. And I am switching out the cover that I had on the ottoman before. I have used this cover previously and I love it. It is definitely one of my favorites. And it has that really pretty coral color in there. I made this. I know that somebody will ask where I purchased it. I made that. And I love the coral color that it pulled from the flowers and the shells. And then I'm just going to straighten up the sofa slipcover. I do get asked about this all the time. And I made the slipcover out of drop cloth. I wish that I did a video on this because I get asked so often about a video showing you how to make it or how I made it. And I just don't have that. So now that I have the sofa and the chair over here straightened up with the pillows all perfectly fluffed and everything, I'm going to head on over to this little side table and I wanted to add more of the shells over here and a little bit more of that coral color. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just dust it off and then I'm going to rearrange some of the items that I have on here and then I will add a few new items and I'm just adding some really pretty lamb's ear back into this picture and then I will add some pink and coral colored peonies and then I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more um, decor pieces and I thought I would add this scale over here it's something a little bit different and then these um, nautical decor pieces and then I'm going to add some seashells to that I also had some really pretty green moss that I thought I would add to this and I just wanted to add a little more of a texture and once I put it in here it just looked perfect.
like you always do Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that I have inspired you to decorate. I would love to know down in the comments below how you decorate for summer, what type of theme that you use, if you use a theme at all. I love using this nautical theme. It just brings me back to when I was younger and I lived in California and I went to the ocean all the time and it was just a fun time for me. I live in the desert now and I can't really do that. But when I decorate with the shells and the sand, it just brings me back and I love it. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys do as far as your decor for summertime. I would love to know. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you are new, I would love it if you subscribed. If you enjoyed this video, I would also love it if you gave me a thumbs up. And I will see you all in my next video. I hope you guys all have an amazing day. Bye. And you let the bridges burn. So come to the water. You're sailing with the breeze. Take a step into the river where you will find peace.